points, five rebounds, a contest. Trevin Joseph, a transfer from Broward College in Florida. He can score as well, also top 10 in the conference in steals. True freshman, Nick Ferrarini, at that kind of a hybrid 2-3 spot, he may run the point sometimes. Vance Jansen and Jordan Jansen up front for the Wayne State Wildcats. This is a team predicated on a defense, which as you mentioned, Greg, was not at the top of their game against St. Cloud State the last time. Well, that's the one thing about St. Cloud. They can make teams look pretty silly defensively if they're not locked in. My guess is Wayne State's very well prepared. On the other side, the St. Cloud State starting lineup brought to you by My Place Hotel, Brindley Tyson, an absolute assassin from Brief Wayne Point Territory. Not only the NSIC in steals. We are underway as Sean Smith wins the tip. St. Cloud State in the home white uniforms. Wayne State in the road black uniforms. Just to see it, a team in, in Wayne that wants to protect the lane at all costs. They'll live with that shot right there by Davis, but they won't give up, won't live with giving up the offensive rebound. Davis off on the 18-footer to starve. They get it down low. Here's Davis again. Sean Smith for three. Rebound inside by Ferrarini. Wayne State took care of business against you, Mary, in the first round on Wednesday. Shot clock down to 10 for Vance Jansen. Jansen, nice dump off to Jordan Jansen. Jordan Jansen bobbled the pass, might have been to his benefit as Anwuka flew by. And then the nice easy finish at the rim. Nice backdoor cut from Gage Davis. That's the risk of, of playing deny defense at this level, the ability for people to step on the back door Get some easy scores. St. Cloud gets one right there. Jordan Jansen again. Nice bounce to Kendall Jacks for two. Great move without the ball. The senior Jacks. His defender turns his head. He sets up camp under the rim. Easy finish. Brindley Tyson for three. That's what he does. What a sweet looking stroke. Catch, release, high finish, soft landing. His 110th three pointer of the season. Again, leads all of Division II. Jax will pull up for a three of his own. Rebound Sean Smith. Smith bringing it all the way down the court with a spin and in. That's a nice luxury to have when Sean Smith, NSIC Defensive Player of the Year, cleans the defensive glass end to end with the finish. Sean Smith, 6'8", a buck 95. Jax, he'll try a jerk one-legged fadeaway rebound by Onwuka. St. Cloud State player gets that thing off the glass, gets out with the dribble. Davis working against Kendall Jacks. Got switched on the Joseph to launch a three from straight away. Just seems so comfortable, even with the defender trying to get into him. Gage Davis maintains a comfort level and a calmness about himself on the offensive end. Give and go, Jordan Jansen to Vance Jansen for three. Nice kick out, Jansen to Jansen, three-point connection. Intercepted by Trevin Joseph. Gliding in, got a little too far under the rim. He did, Davis kind of flew in front of him, avoided the foul call. Jack's just a little off balance, not able to finish. Or Joseph, excuse me. Davis tried to beat it to Smith down low. Great. You see the frustration from Matt Reimer and then a silly foul by Adam Heat Anderson in transition. 
great backside help by Nick Fiorini. You watch the freshman, he sinks in there. There, they've already got the ball in the reach in foul, as you mentioned. And Jansen got kind of caught in the air on that pass, and Heath Anderson kind of bailed him out there. Both teams shooting above 50% to start here. Jax driving in with the left hand. Nice finish. A patient drive. Patient drive. Strong finish with the left. Here's Smith at the high post. Tyson for three again. Man alive is stroke is sweet. It is, I'll tell you what. Vance Jansen trying to make life difficult for him, trying, trying to force his catch a little farther out on the perimeter, but back to back, sweet looking strokes from behind the arc. Ferrini got caught with a double team and Gabe Davis forced a tie up. It'll stay with the Wildcats when we come. Eight. You know, look at Gabe Davis's numbers here early on. Five points and an assist. Shot clock under 10 for Trevin Joseph and the Wildcats. Tough take by Joseph. Yeah, he just got downhill with that flat ball screen. Nobody inhibited his momentum. Nice finish at the rim. Davis, alley -oop to Sean Smith. Great call out of the timeout by Coach Reimer. Sets two of his stars up to make that connection. A little momentum boost for St. Cloud. Joseph from the baseline. Sean Smith tapped it, but right to Nick Ferrarini. Ferrarini, an actor freshman, one of those guys that's earned his opportunities because he's willing to play hard on every possession. Three seniors, two freshmen to start for Wayne State. Davis from the right elbow. Left that one short. Sean Smith, the offensive rebound. Tyson, a runner. That one short. Very good defense by Vance Jansen that time. Trevin Joseph for three. Rattles in. Joseph shoots a little bit of a heavy ball. Not a ton of rotation on it, but it was true that time. Rattles at home. Gives Wayne State the lead. Another alley oop try for Sean Smith. Can't get that one. That one was contested by Jordan Jansen. Barini a little Euro step. His name suggests he should be able to do that and execute it, and he did in traffic. Gage Davis and the foul. It's a nice take by Davis. Fortunate didn't get called for the hook that time. He kind of throws his right arm around the defender, but then there's contact at the rim. Kendall Jacks called for that one. Davis already with seven, couple of assists. As we mentioned, he had a career high 46 in their game against Wayne State a little less than a month ago. He's up to eight now. You can see why. There's that. There's that three-quarter court pressure with Smith at the top. His six-eight length. Can you get a tip pass? We had a live ball turnover. Wayne State handles it so far. Here's Ben Dentlinger, and Smith got the rejection, but he also got a piece of his hand. Nice job. Another freshman, or sophomore, excuse me, out of New London, Iowa, Ben Dentlinger. There you see the rotation. He goes strong. Met at the rim. Contact with the body. See Dentlinger's lines on the season. Off on the first free throw. Dentlinger not too bad at rejections himself. He's fifth in the conference in blocks. But Sean Smith averaging nearly four blocks a game. Dentlinger rattles the second one home, but he's a good looking athlete. One of those young bodies, they rotate with a lot of that experience on the perimeter. Here's Jace Kitchen. Davis on the right block. 
trying to muscle his way inside, shoot over the backboard. That's a tough one there. Great defense by Jax. Just physically not allowing Gage Davis any room to operate. Davis gets himself in trouble. Again, you see the pressure by St. Cloud State with Sean Smith at the head of that press. That's what Matt Reimer told us. He has the ability with that frame, as you mentioned a little earlier, Greg, to cause some disruptions in the backcourt. That's the thing. If you're Wayne State, you can attack that. Just pull up from behind the arc. Revan Joseph nails his second three. Wayne State playing with some confidence. Trayvon Marshall, and that one partially blocked by the rim. Able to get it back himself, and I believe St. Cloud State called the timeout. Yeah, they want to save that possession. Able to put it on the deck because they're going to respect his accuracy from behind the arc. No, oh, he's a very complete player. Another turnover force, and then a foul. Coach Kaminsky fired up. His guys are doing exactly what they need to to compete with his talented St. Cloud State team. Kaminsky gathered his entire team for a quick little huddle there. He's yeah. keeping them motivated. Well, wants to make a play call without having to signal it. Scouting reports are so detailed nowadays. If he can make the call and St. Cloud doesn't know what's coming, may be able to catch him off guard. Joseph got switched on the kitchen. He'll fire another three. That one offline on Wuku with the board. Coach Kaminsky wanted that action to go to the rim once he got isolated. Tyson, that's from NBA range. On Wuka, wide open for the offensive rebound, got stuffed by the rim. Yeah, just went up, literally crotched it. And they pay on the other end as Jax goes the length of the floor and the finish. Wayne State with its largest lead right now at six. Screen exactly on Wuka ran right in to Gage Davis's defender. Point of emphasis this morning, and that's just a lack of patience, lack of execution. You'll see it here. Yeah, that's that's what's known as a pick play in the NFL, David. Except we're not playing in the NFL. <laughs> that's correct. And hence the foul <laughs> the is foul. called. Exactly. See St. Cloud State already with four turnover. Wayne State takes very good care of the basketball. Well, that's one of the things Matt Reimer said is we've got to take care of the basketball. We've got to handle their effort and toughness on the defensive end. They can't turn it over. Long two from Jax. And they're going to get a loose ball foul on Jay's kitchen. I think Dentlinger kind of created that by flailing backwards. Well, he did, but actually I, I, I agree. Dentlinger goes up, but he does get backed under. He, as soon as he leaves the ground, that's a call right in front of the official. Stays with Wayne State. Here's Dentlinger down low with the reverse. Nice job by Dentlinger to gather after the catch and then come all the way back underneath the basket, finish on the other side. Wayne State up eight. Davis and Smith trying to work a two-man game. Tell you what, the effort, the rotation by Wayne State. Davis off on the free throw line. And a ton of black shirts on the defensive glass. Altavius Jackson for three. Dentlinger. It's going to go over to St. Cloud State. Jeff Kaminsky can't believe it. Pressure being shown here by Wayne State, at least initially. Yeah, a little full court pickup. They're man, but they drop back as soon as the ball is inbounded. Both coaches trying to keep the other one off balance, out of some timeouts, showing them some different looks. See Wayne State on an 8 0 run right now. Smith in the post, back out to Keith Anderson and shuffled his feet. Such great rotation. Wayne State sends a body, and I believe that time it was Jackson to double down. And great rotation on the kickout because Jackson's man got the kickout. Joseph rotated up, forced the walk call. Wayne State breaks the press. 
Joseph for three again. Yes, sir. Great find. Vance Jansen gets in the middle, looks opposite. Big time three, and all of a sudden Wayne State makes it a double-digit lead. The lead is 11. Joseph has 11. Sean Smith slams it all. So screen roll action, good delivery. Kendall Jacks, Dentlinger, Altavius Jackson, tough fall away. Jacks, skying in for the offensive rebound and the putback. They love their relentlessness on the offensive glass. Doesn't make any difference about their position. They get in there and make things difficult. Matt Reimer with his hands folded inside. And that one rattles home for Ethan Schumer. Good ball move at that time. St. Cloud needs to kind of right themselves. I think the toughness and the aggressiveness of Wayne State has them rattled a little bit on both ends of the floor. Joseph. Tough take. Nice defense there by Schumer as Smith brings it out. Up ahead to Davis. Got fouled and made the basket. What a big time catch and finish all in one motion. They advance the ball. Davis catches and goes right up with it. Jackson gets caught with the foul. Three-point play opportunity for Davis. Exactly what Matt Reimer needed for his team. Davis looking for point number 11. Cannot get it. Jackson skies in for the rebound. Cloud State back into their normal man-to-man -man defense, trying to pick up the pressure a little bit, forcing Wayne State out. Altavius Jackson, that was a nice drive. <laughs> Altavius Jackson says, forcing us out? What are you talking about? I'm taking it right down Main Street. Davis calls off the screener. Isa on Dentlinger right now. They're going to try to get it back to him. Dentlinger still matched up on Gage Davis. Let's see how he attacks him. Shot clock under five for Davis. Drove the baseline and got that to go. Fortunate again. He threw that right arm out and kind of hooked Dentlinger. They've let him get away with it a couple different times here. Saw the St. Cloud State women's team cheering on their men's counterparts. And then we'll take on Minnesota Duluth in our second semifinal tomorrow. Nice cut by Dentlinger. Cannot get it to go, but he'll get a trip to the line instead. Great job by the freshman, Jordan Jansen. 6-7, 2-10 out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Does a great job when that double comes. Dentlinger realizes his man's going to the double. He just follows him right down the middle of the lane. Not able to convert, but gets to the line and knocks down the first of two. Trevin Joseph will take a seat here for Wayne State as Ferrarini comes back in. It's kind of nice if Coach Kaminsky can get some of those, those senior guards rushed here and there around before and after the media timeouts. He can utilize them, maybe stretch their minutes out a little longer than normal. Davis got switched on the Ferrarini. Driving in, kind of an awkward runner. Davis does a nice job holding defensively. Great job of contesting and not fouling. And in traffic in transition rattles in and out. Jansen tried to save it. Got batted away. Sean Smith on the run. Tyson will calm things down. This Wayne State team is locked in on the defensive end. And they force another turnover. Tell you what, it's fun to watch when you get five guys locked in, moving in, in rhythm with each other on the defensive end. And Wayne State's done that so far against a very, very good offensive team in St. Cloud State. See the turnovers. Just one for the Wildcats, six already for the Huskies. And Wayne State scored seven points off those turnovers. And that's what Matt Reimer talked about, is he needs his team to value the ball. Jansen spinning inside. 
Got the rattle to go in. Great finish. They found the mismatch. Jansen, patient enough, and Jeff Kaminsky challenging his guys. Let's find a way to get one more stop. Davis stolen away by Vance Jansen. On the fast break with the left hand. Couldn't ask for better execution of your game plan on the defensive end. Wayne State fans coming to their feet. Challenging their team to keep this level of intensity up. Wayne, Nebraska, only about two hours south of Sioux Falls. Sean Smith stolen away by Jansen once again. Vance Jansen all over the place. Vance Jansen, one of those senior backcourt players for Wayne State. Wreaking havoc on the defensive end, turning it into offense in transition. Jansen, that's a deep three. Kind of feeling himself a little bit there and doesn't take the best shot. <laughs> Little out of character for the way they've been playing. Kind of the easy way out, but can Wayne State maintain their intensity? Can St. Cloud State use their intensity against him? Maybe create a back door. Davis. With the right hand off glass. Oh, that's a tough finish. That's just a high level offensive player in this league. Gage Davis finds a way to manufacture a much needed basket for St. Cloud State. Now a little zone action. Exactly. Jump into a zone. Skip pass. Ferrini cannot take advantage, but the rebound looked like it was off of Davis. Off turnovers and Wayne State leading that 11 to 0. And how much do they lead this game? By 11 points. Jeff Kaminsky has this Wayne State team buying in on the defensive end. Back downstairs, David and Gray. Thank you, Jody. St. Cloud State trying to erase part of this 11-point deficit. Davis. Tyson for three. That one's short. Numbers in transition here for the Wildcats. Jordan Jansen with the left hand. That's a tough finish. In traffic. Maruka there to contest. Great catch. Great finish. Gage Davis. No call as Jansen fell down, but Davis... Once again, driving inside, he's got 16. He's the guy that's been the calming force, but at the same time, Wayne State still clinging to that double-digit lead. Once again, St. Cloud State in kind of a hybrid 2-3 zone look here. They really are, and they're leaving some gaps. Another clean look from behind the arc. That time, Joseph misses. Trayvon Marshall driving all the way. Good aggressive take by Marshall, junior out of Evanston, Illinois. And I think this St. Cloud zone, they gave up a three early, but they're really trying to extend it, and they're taking Wayne State out of rhythm. There's the backside. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. That's rhythm. <laughs> Kendall Jacks, get up. <laughs> That's one way to attack a zone. Yes, it is. And then Jax pokes it away. Has to contain himself. Can't believe he committed the foul. Here's that alley-oop. Skying into your screen. You love the patience. Great pass to lead by Jansen. Even better finish by Jax. Tyson trying to find some space. Jansen does not want to give me room in that three-point arc. Skip pass to Tyson with a corner three. Off the back iron. Jansen was right there. Tyson got a nice release on it, but Jansen was at least made him feel him. This cross-court passes by Wayne State. St. Cloud's going to take one of those the other way. Nice take. They're going to call a foul on the ground. But Joseph, again, aggressive off the dribble. Wayne State 
picking and choosing their times to attack off the dribble, off of ball reversal, attacking the closeout, and doing exactly what you want to do, getting yourself to the free throw line. So no continuation for Trevin Joseph, but he will get a one and one. Six three senior on Miami, Florida. One of three senior guards starting for this Wayne State program and just their leadership early in this game, setting the tone on the defensive end, aggressive mentality on the offensive end, but being smart with the ball and valuing the ball. Joseph hits both. Jeff Kaminsky told us when they recruited him out of Broward College, they knew he could score, but just his evolution on defense has been something they've been proud of. And case in point, he's top 10 in the conference in steals. Yeah, and that's a credit to Coach Kaminsky and his staff saying, you know what, if you're going to play here, you got to guard. you got to be willing to, to dig down and do the little things. Davis attacking and another foul. Dentlinger was questioning, thought he got all ball. Get Jansen for the foul. Actually, Dentlinger on the closeout, but yeah, that looked like mostly ball. It did, but no, I hear you. He got his arm first, but I, after that, it was all ball. But I agree. I, I said Dentlinger, it was Jansen. If not for Gage Davis, I'm telling you what, <laughs> this St. Cloud State team would be in a world of hurt, but. I guess let's be honest, they've had Gabe, Gabe, Gage Davis all year, and he's helped him win a lot of games. That he has. And he is up to 18 points now in this first half. Davis, lunge for the steal. Five on four, Trevin Joseph. Cannot take advantage, Trayvon Marshall. Skies for the rebound, and then a loose ball foul on Dentlinger. And that's just going to be the, the fifth foul, fifth or sixth foul on Wayne State, so it's not going to put him on the line, but he comes in from behind. It's called for the reach. 103 left here. Jeff Kaminsky had to be pretty pleased that your team hasn't been out of control fouling and given up too many easy points to St. Cloud State. Bit of a fumbled handoff there, but Davis able to clean it up. Trayvon Marshall got bailed out there, got kind of caught in the air, tried to scoop it up, and ends up getting some contact from Wayne State. Yeah, Jansen picks up his second on a couple of possessions. He comes in from the backside. Sometimes it's better just to try to contest those shots and try to block them. Trayvon Marshall at the line. Rattles home the first. I think they're going to get Jansen, Jordan Jansen, out of there. Good idea so he doesn't pick up his third. Into the game is Nate Thayer, another freshman in Springfield, Nebraska. Marshall, it's both. Back to a nine-point game here. Final 40 seconds in this first half. Well, if you're Jeff Kaminsky, you want to finish with the momentum on your side if you're Wayne State. Don't let St. Cloud get things going the other direction and pick up some easy baskets. Vance Jansen didn't get the rattle. Ferrini for three. Big answer. Jansen stayed with his own miss. Kicked it out. One more pass. Big three. The shot clock was off. Kaminsky didn't like that shot until it went in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wayne State fans on their on their feet saying, "Let's let's get one more stop." Davis three at the horn. Gets it to go. Little momentum here for St. Cloud State, but this first half has been dominated by Wayne. Wayne State with a 48-39 lead over St. Cloud State as we begin the final half of quarterfinal Sunday here on Midco Sports Network. Gage Davis had 21 points in that first half, doing it from all kinds of angles and does it from the free throw line there. He's got 23 now, Greg. There's just another one. One of the few times he kind of went to his left, still finished with his right. You look at that shot chart, a lot of things are going to his right. We'll see what happens, but 
Wayne State's got to continue to make his looks as difficult as possible. Man, is he talented. Kendall Jacks driving all the way. Oh, Kendall Jacks looks so good at getting downhill. He, along with Joseph and Vance Jansen, very aggressive from the perimeter for Wayne State. Pete Anderson got his defender in the air, finds a cutting Davis. <laughs> Jeff Kaminsky just said, stay down, Trev, right before Trevin Joseph left his feet on the shot fake and allowed kind of a three on two on the backside for St. Cloud. Easy layup for Gage Davis. Trevin Joseph. Down low, Jordan Jansen. Tried to beat it, nice steal. Nice job on the backside by Gage Davis, dropping down to cut off that pass. Forced a turnover. St. Cloud State giving Wayne State a little of their own medicine. Diamond on Luka on the block. Skip to Davis. Down low back to Brindley Tyson for three. In and out. Davis trying to sky for the offensive rebound. Kendall Jacks corrals it. Tried to beat it up ahead to Joseph. And Adam Heat Anderson playing free safety. Well, there's two consecutive turnovers for Wayne State. Gage Davis makes some pain. And he holds that pose for about an extra four seconds. St. Cloud State all of a sudden kind of regaining a little momentum. Closed the, gap, closed the gap in a hurry coming out of the locker room after halftime. Gage Davis has 28. We've seen some phenomenal scoring performances today from the top three scorers in conference history. Cleary at 36, Bergman at 38, Davis already with 28. Kendall Jacks, tip. Third opportunity here for Wayne State. Ferrini, nice dump off. Offensive foul though before the basket. Well, I believe Tyson was set up. Let's check in quickly with Elena Lanson. At half, I asked Coach Reimer what they'll do to cut down on those turnover, turnovers, and he said, that's the name of the game. We've done so well all year. I don't know what's happening tonight. They've got to take care of the ball or the season will be over. Season being over may be a little far-fetched. This team fourth in the region rankings. I don't think even with a loss tonight, they're going to fall all the way out. But in a sense, you got to act like your season's on the line to get your team to play better. Davis, nice defense there by Ferrarini. Very good defense. Contesting Davis. Davis again going hard to his right. He's talented. He can go both directions, but seems much more comfortable going hard to his right. Kendall Jacks gets it back, puts it in. <laughs> Jack stayed with that. Main State coaching staff wondering where's the and then goes the other direction. Well, both coaches expressing their displeasure with the most recent charge calls that went against them. This one a little more obvious with that left forearm from Sean Smith. Yeah, it's uh, all of a sudden now Wayne State, they score, chance to push this six point lead up a little bit higher. Nick Ferrini, that's a deep three. Off the front iron, rebound by Heat Anderson. John, Sean Smith contested that late, made for Ferrini a little uncomfortable. That's a deep three from Heat Anderson, and not the shot St. Cloud State had in mind. I don't think so, kind of a rushed possession. It's one of those where he almost wants to gauge Davis rule. End to end, Jansen. And he got that over the outstretched arms of Sean Smith. <laughs> Matt Reimer right now is saying, you will not take a shot until Gage Davis at least gets a touch. Another three attempt. That one a better look from Heat Anderson, but it still doesn't go in. Kendall Jacks. Another offensive rebound. Gordon Jansen. Out of work on the offensive glass. Tough take. Trevin Joseph, ball being batted around. It's a tie up. It'll go over to St. Cloud State, but nevertheless, Wayne State flips the possession arrow. Yeah, we'll stay with St. or stay with Wayne State, excuse me. 
Yeah, but just Wayne State would not give up on that. If they could get a hand on it, two guys went in there fighting for it. Jordan Jansen, freshman on Lincoln, Nebraska, plays so much more advanced than his years. This is the fourth opportunity Wayne State will have at this end here over multiple possessions. And the tenacity of this Wildcat team at both ends of the court is proven to be worth it this evening. Dentlinger, little eight footer, gets his own rebound. He knew it was bad, puts it back up, puts it back in. Chased it down. You had a great observation, Dave. He knew as soon as it left his hand, he started chasing down that second chance opportunity. Wayne State didn't shoot a great percentage, but the ball never went to this end of the floor. Davis hard to his right again. Dentlinger's going to get called for the foul. Yeah, he's been the go to guy. First one off the back iron. Reed telling you he's in the house. South Dakota State locking up the number one seed in the Summit League tournament on the men's side. Of course, we got all the Summit League games, quarterfinals, and semifinals coming up next weekend here on Midco Sports Network. Best time of the year, Greg. It is, and Sioux Falls is one of the beneficiaries of so many college basketball games being played at the championship level this time of year. So many facilities, so much interest. Vance Jansen stops on a dime off the back iron. That was a great pull up, creating a ton of separation, just hard off the heel of the rim, but actually a pretty good look for Vance Jansen. Tyson for three. High arcing rainbow shot is just short. Nice job that time by Ethan Schumann, freshman on the Lombard, Illinois. Coming up with an extra shot opportunity for the Huskies. Boy, just nothing easy against this team in black. The Wayne State Wildcats. Davis step back three. Off the back iron. Barrini eventually corrals it for Wayne State. Great effort by Dentlinger to get out and contest that deep three by Gage Davis. Kendall Jacks driving in. And the ability for Wayne State to spread the floor. Jacks takes advantage. Tyson back out to Jace Kitchen. Defender fell down. Kitchen. Well, go to the line. And good recognition that time by Kitchen, as you mentioned. A shot fake defender and goes to his rear end, loses his footing. And Vance Jansen basically takes one for the team, doesn't want to give him an easy one, puts him on the line. Kitchen hits the first, his first points of this ball game. We're talking with Matt Reimer a little bit earlier. He says everyone wants to highlight Gage Davis having 46 in that previous regular season matchup, but Jace Kitchen had 20, and that made the difference because when they were keying on Davis, it was Kitchen who only averages on the season about eight points per game. Getting 20 in that game was the key to their victory. There's one of those cross-court passes. We've seen Wayne throw a few of those, and I'm surprised St. Cloud hasn't jumped more of them. Perrini trying to show a little blood to the official. Hey, this game is going to take more than blood to get a foul call. Gage Davis got out ahead of the pack. Looked like he was held. Surprised there was no foul call there. Kitchen driving in, puts it in for two. Nice finish by Kitchen. Kendall Jack's fortunate he didn't get called for a blocking foul on that one. And all of a sudden, St. Cloud State back within seven. Jacks on the right block. Dentlinger couldn't handle the pass. It was a nice cut, but a little too hot to handle. It was a good look. Like you mentioned, just a little bit out of his reach. Had to reach back with one hand. Wasn't able to get a second hand on it. And all of a sudden, St. Cloud State feeling an opportunity here to wrestle momentum back in their favor.
Davis, hand off to Tyson. Shot clock under 10 as Davis gets it back. Schumer got caught. Davis fade away from the corner. Big time hit. I think Wayne State wanted to walk on Schumer, but great job by Schumer to find Davis. The lie cut out on the baseline. It's a tough one. Kendall Jacks from the elbow. Excuse me, Trevin Joseph. Davis with the board. All of a sudden, Wayne State missing a few opportunities within range. And right now, St. Cloud State an opportunity to make this a one possession game. Another long two from Davis. Shaking his head, he's feeling it. And he's one of those guys we've talked about him all day. Cleary, Brueggemann, Davis. Is he saving the best for last? Dance in, just off. All of a sudden it's within three. St. Cloud State can tie on this possession. Get it in Davis' hands. He's gonna get this one up. Just offline for the tie. And he knew that one was going up. Davis was feeling it. And right now, if you're Jeff Kaminsky, you need a quality possession. Wayne State has put themselves in position here. Can they sustain it? Jax responds. That stops bleeding a little bit for the Wildcats. He is such a difficult matchup. He can guard bigger players, but boy, they have a difficult time keeping him in front of them defensively. That stops an 8-0 Husky run. Trayvon Marshall rejected by Dentlinger. Huskies making a comeback in this ball game. Huskies have made a couple runs. One they're on right now. Nice feet inside on the out-of-bounds play. Jace Kitchen throwing in the kitchen sink. Matt Reimer saying, where's the foul call on that? You talked about Kitchen, how big he was down at Wayne State. Cloud State isn't going anywhere. Gage Davis, I don't think, has seen the bench yet this game. Will he? I don't know. Tough shot in traffic. Davis on the defensive glass. Trayvon Marshall. Good look from the elbow. Rebound Dentlinger. Coach Kaminsky trying to get his senior guards a breather one at a time. Davis steals it. Behind the back, driving in all the way, but an offensive foul. Having his thoughts known. Great takeaway by Davis. That's a tough one if you see Grand State. You can't see if he's in the arc or not. And my guess is if he would have been, one of the other officials would have come in and told him so. Kendall Jack spinning inside. Tip by Jordan Jansen. Jordan Jansen, but you know what? It started by Kendall Jacks getting a nice look. Back to the basket, big time finish. Puts Wayne State back up by five, two possessions, a lot of game left. Davis spinning in the lane. He'll end up shooting. He needs to settle down. He's always pointing out to the defender. And here, after he gets the foul called, he kind of takes the ball and sticks it in the chest of the Wayne State defender, he's got to be wise enough not to give a possession away late in this game with so much on the line. Off the back iron. Trevin Joseph checking back in for Wayne State. Altavius Jackson will take a seat. Jackson has done some good things. Here. Jeff Kaminsky, you love having Jax, Joseph, Vance Jans Vance Jansen all on the floor right now with this game on the line. Both free throws missed by Davis, but another offensive rebound this time from Kitchen. Kitchen has been big. Tyson, he's missed his last couple threes. Kendall Jack skying in for the board. 
And then Jansen got out ahead of the pack. But the ground slipped out from under him. Yeah. Right. Stop quick. It just looked really, really awkward. He tried to make sure of the catch. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, that. I'm glad it wasn't worse than that, David. Appears to be just fine. Yeah. Yeah. It looks worse than yes, slow motion. Yes, absolutely. Don't show that again, please. At least give me a heads up if you're showing that again. <laughs> Davis. State fans wanted to walk on Marshall. Shot clock down to five for Davis. Fade away. In and out. Jansen so active on the glass. Risky pass there for Wayne State. This is where we've almost seen one of those cross court passes go the other way. Wayne State has to be careful. Anytime that ball gets thrown back out, a reversal pass going away from the baseline. They've got to make sure they're sharp, crisp passes and they're meeting them. Jax tried to find the cutting Jansen. Jansen eventually corrals it. As the shot clock expires. How big has Vance Jansen been along with Jackson Joseph? Senior guards this time of the year, you can't have enough of them. Sean Smith driving baseline, slams it home. Good job by Smith to kind of carve out a little. Space, aggressive drive. Jansen on the block again. Jordan Jansen got Sean Smith in the air. Great patience. Defeats the double down by stepping through it. Nice finish with the left. Tyson, that's a fall away three. He's been off. Trayvon Marshall, the offensive rebound. And he got fouled before he walked. And Nate Moore, I think, got up in the air and then came down on him. Ferrarini comes in for Moore. A nice job that time by Trayvon Marshall securing the offensive rebound. And a steal on the inbounds by Joseph. Joseph, Jax, Jansen. I'll say it all night. How big they've been. Their composure, their toughness. Guarding out of position at times. Davis fouls Ferrarini on the crossover. Ferrarini just set up and blew by, and Davis reached out and to hold him. Well, is he going to be a, an easy two, or else he's going to have to sacrifice a foul? Jax, that's a long two. Not the best shot. Davis gets the board. John Smith. Foul on the floor. And got him on the ground. Smart decision. He's still a guy. Pretty effective from the free throw line, but that's the sixth foul now by Wayne State. Keep in mind, St. Cloud State's only got three. Ways away from the bonus to this point. Smith to Marshall. Joseph's defense there altered that shot. Absolutely. Joseph contested it. Marshall not able to finish. Now you got some full court pressure by St. Cloud. But Kendall Jacks blows right by it. A little too strong on that layup, though. Transition numbers for the Huskies. Tyson for three. Barrini. And they're going to get a reach in on St. Cloud State. Huskies 
have tried climbing to the sun. Up more than half the production for the Huskies overall. It really has. Now you got that full court zone trapping look with Smith at the point. Wildcats able to break it. Now they're getting back into man. Let's see if Wayne State can use a back cut or something like that to take advantage of this St. Cloud State pressure defense. Are they going to gamble and take themselves out of position? Joseph, step back three. Holy oh, smoke. Revan Joseph. Just a big time pull up. Ice water in his veins. 10 point lead, four minutes to go. Davis driving in, easy lay, and he's got 35. And a quick timeout for Matt Reimer. Three. Great toughness off the bench. It's been a nice compliment to Jordan Jansen, the freshman out of Lincoln. And nice job defeating the full court pressure. These senior guards, as good as Gage Davis has been, these senior guards have combined for 44 points themselves and taking care of the ball and defended extremely effectively. Offensive rebound. There's a long two by Vance Jansen. Kendall Jacks got the offensive board. And if you're Jeff Kaminsky, you don't want to lose your aggressiveness, but you also want to take advantage of the time and score situation. Being up eight, up you're up at least three possessions. Steal by Marshall. Gage Davis in transition, gliding in for two again. Just those long passes against an over-aggressive defense. Make the easy one, make the short one. Jeff Kaminsky's gonna use a timeout if he senses anything's going the wrong way. There's another foul by St. Cloud, but now that's only their fifth, I believe, David. It's Sean Smith gets the foul. Danger now for Smith is that's his fourth. See Gabe Davis at the other end. Davis with 37. St. Davis switched with Sean Smith defensively. Revan Joseph driving in, left it strong. Rebound, Jordan Jansen, partially blocked. Wow, I'll tell you what. Jeff Kaminsky saying, where is the contact? Gabe Davis for three, just off the back iron. Trevin Joseph is in the clear, going up. Cannot get it to go, but he'll end up shooting. Great job by Joseph. He knew Davis was chasing him down from behind. He wanted to make sure he got that thing up over the rim. He sees him out of the corner of his eye, strong enough to hold him off, not strong enough to get the finish. Drevin Joseph, 16 points, three rebounds, three steals. This is the first. Jace Kitchen checking in for St. Cloud State. Adam Heat Anderson to the bench. Kitchen had a very productive stretch earlier in this second half. You alluded to it, Dave. He did the same thing down at Wayne State in that regular season victory. Can Kitchen factor in over this last 2-12? in for Joseph. And that makes it a three possession game here at 7 points, 70 to 63 with 2.12 to go. Now they take Ferrarini out and they go with both Dentlinger and Jordan Jansen. Maybe a little more help on the glass. Jack's matched up on Gage Davis. Davis, fall away. Jack's with the board. Ball with the Jacks. Don't be afraid to keep it in your hand the whole time. Almost stumbles and loses his footing. Now Wildcats content to let a little time run. There's just a sense of calmness and toughness. The ball goes from Jacks to Jansen to Joseph. Joseph driving in. We got ourselves a wedgie. 
tie-up goes to St. Cloud State. After getting his possession. That, that was the least predictable result coming out of that possession, David. And punt. Green State fans on their feet, urging their team. A minute 27, defend a three-possession lead. Davis, three, rattles in. He's got 40 points. That is a new tournament record for an individual performance. Individual performances, but right now the Huskies still down by four. It is Ferrarini gets in. And a foul before the inbounds. That's going to put Trevin Joseph on the line. Obviously, Gage Davis and Sean Smith up off the bench now. Offense, defense, substitutions for Matt Reimer. Joseph, three of four at the line. This is the front end of a one and one. Buried the first. It will still be a two possession lead no matter what happens. And they send Dentling, and I like that. Kaminsky waits until Joseph has the ball in his hand for the second free throw. So then Dentling will come in after the main. Allows Wayne State to get their defense set. Ferrarini goes back to the bench. Dentlinger and Jordan Jansen both on the floor. And right now, as of now, Jacks guarding Gage Davis. Let's see if he tries to get him dribbling to his left at all. Davis going to his right, all the way to the basket. That was too easy. It's just incredible because they just allow him to go to his right. He's so effective. Brindley Tyson is going to foul Jacks here. It's a four-point game, 56 and 8, 10 seconds left. Just doesn't really force Gage Davis to change direction at all. This is Jack's first trip to free throw line tonight. It's the front. Well, that's a quick rhythm and release right there. You better be ready when you're Kendall Jack's Matt Reimer right now, trying to think of every scenario. Option number one, just guessing, is get it in the hands of Gage Davis. Jeff Kaminsky will use one of his three remaining timeouts. Might as well get it. Going with Jacks on Gage Davis. He just pulls up for a three. Off the back iron. Jansen with the rebound. And they will foul Vance Jansen. It was a decent enough look for Gage Davis. It was just a little strong. I'll tell you what. Davis with 42, like you've alluded to numerous times. Nobody else in double figures for St. Cloud State. He's been so good. Missed the free throw. But Jordan Jansen gets the offensive rebound, but he travels. Jeff Kaminsky and the Wayne State contingent can't believe it. You've got to be careful if they don't pick up a tee. I think it was a walk. I couldn't see how much contact was involved. Davis again. Time they force him to go left. Took away a little of his effect in the set on his right. Big time three, Brindley Tyson. And that is much needed, not only for the scoreboard, but for Tyson. Six and two, ten seconds difference. Shot clock and game clock. St. Cloud State with the press. They get it in the Ferrarini. Oh, Tyson. They're going to call the reach around foul. It looked like he got all balls. He tried to strip it. Oh, boy. Well, it's, it's a tough one here. As if you watch it, Perini takes off. Ooh. Maybe he got a little bit of a fingernail, but. Yeah, that was a tough one. Perini's got to be more aware than that. But now two shots for Perini, the freshman. Calmly nails the first. Davis, Sean Smith back in. Detlinger's back at the scores table. Misses that one now. Four-point deficit. Gage Davis. 
Got caught. Got it back. A lot of time going off. Davis pulls up for three. Off the front iron. Loose ball. I believe it'll stay with the Huskies. They're going to go review this one. I'm willing to bet that. In the last minute with 16. Marshall on the inbound. Davis back to Marshall for three. Rebound Dentlinger. They foul him with 11 seconds left. Yeah, they've got Dentlinger and Jordan Jansen in there for that reason and that reason alone. Dentlinger, the sophomore out of New London, Iowa. Jordan Jansen, freshman out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Been a great compliment to this group of upperclassmen guards, and Wayne State right now is feeling it. The opportunity to advance to the semifinals, and as you talked about in the pregame, David, a win over an already regional eligible team in St. Cloud State. How much does that strengthen the resume of a Wayne State and maybe move them into conversation and consideration for a regional berth? We'll find out in about 11 seconds. Dentlinger misses the first. St. Cloud State, no timeouts. He's off on the second. St. Cloud State's got to go. Final seconds. Davis pulls up for three. Gets it. 5.4 to go. It's a one-point game. I believe they're going to review to see if it was a three or a two. Ford is a turnover underneath their own basket. And a foul before the inbounds, and honestly, that might be the best thing for St. Cloud State anyway. Yeah, no time off the clock. And right now, you've got Vance Jansen, 6'2", 185-pound senior out of Blair, Nebraska. He is 0 for 1 at the line today. Came in as an 82% shooter. Hitting both would ice it. Anything else, St. Cloud State has a chance. Rattles it in. Well, Wayne State now has to be aware of the plan. Being up three, I would expect them to foul. If he would miss the second one. Coach Kaminsky may take a timeout to discuss it, but they're up four. It's irrelevant. Now he takes the timeout. Two plus circle here. St. Cloud State wants to move on. They chuck it into Davis. He'll launch a deep three. Buries it. 1.6 left. 47 points for Gage Davis. It's a one-point game. They get it in the Ferrarini, and he wastes enough time, and Wayne State survives by the skin of its teeth, 77-76.